Let's explore the OR function in Excel in detail. It's pretty cool. So we have three examples for you. The first one, I'm just showing you how the OR function works. Feel free to work with me through this or just watch. If we go equals OR, we're going to get a binary answer. It's either going to be true or false. And so we're saying OR, or is B6, which is 6, greater than 0? Well, we know that is a true statement. Or is B6 less than C6? And we know that's true. So we're going to get a true statement. Now, what happens if one, one argument is false, or one condition is false, and the other condition is true? Well, you'll get a true result. Let's show you how that works. Equals or. Is B7 greater than 0? 6, yes, is greater than 0, so that one's true. Is B7, is 6, greater than C7, which is 10? We know that's false. And finally, is C7, which is 10, greater than 12? We know that's false. So yes, two conditions are false, but one is true. So as long as one of those ors is true, we'll get a true. Now, if all the ors are false, we will get a false. So let's do that one last time, equals or. And if we say B8 is less than 0, 6 is not less than 0, and B8 is greater than C8, 6 is not greater than 10, so that's another false, and C8 is greater than 12, 10 is not greater than 12. So because there are no true arguments there, we will get a false. So now let's see how we apply it. I have two examples. Let's imagine we are marking uh, someone at university, and they're deemed to have passed the term or got their degree if they either get more than 50 in economics or they get more than 45 in business. They don't need to get both. As long as they get one of the minimum marks in economics or business, they pass. OK, so let's do this. We have to do it with an if statement. If, and then we're going to do or. We're going to look at their mark in just a second. Let me put the equal sign in there. There we go. We're going to look at C13, 45, and we're going to compare it and say, is it greater than the threshold for economics, which is here in H13. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it down, so making an absolute reference. Or, and it's D13, sorry, it's hidden by the formula, but it's D13. The mark in business is greater than 45. Again, we're going to lock that down. We're going to put a bracket, then the if statement. If the positive, if it's true, then we want a pass. And if it's not true, we want a fail. So you see the first one? The person didn't pass economics, but they did pass business, so they're deemed to pass. Let's copy it down, Control D. Let's look at the last one. Yep, e the economics mark of 48 is below 50, plus business is below 45, so this person has failed. So that's how you can use it. Let's do one more, and I love this one because you can actually use the OR function in conjunction with conditional formatting. And what I want to do is I want to actually see if any of these days happen to fall on a weekend because it's a work event. You can see a press conference, then we're doing annual resolutions and AGM and et cetera, et cetera. So what we can do is we can do conditional formatting. And I'm going to go Alt-H for the home ribbon and then L for conditional formatting. And I'm going to do new rule. And I'm going to go to use a formula to determine. I'm going to go equals or. And then we're going to use the weekday function. And I'm going to make sure that I select type C23 without dollar signs so that it moves. So we're saying if the weekday of C23 is equal to 7, which is Saturday, then that's a weekend. Or the weekday of C23 is equal to 1, which is a Sunday. Again, we're set up so that the first day of the week is Sunday, last day of the week is Saturday. And then what I need to do is I need to just put one more bracket around it and decide on the formatting. And I'm just going to choose a light blue color, click OK, and now let's run it.
And you can see it's highlighted the days that fall on a weekend. That's how you can use the OR function in Excel.